Happy weekend, Kapamilya! Hello, online world! This is Off the Record with Mix. And Cheska, and yes, thank you once again for joining us on this Friday night, Mix. Uh, matagal na natin gustong gawin tong episode na to because, again, yeah. many, many things happening in the world of Philippine football thanks to these ladies joining us tonight. But before anything else, of course, you all, uh, hopefully you get to follow the social media pages of ABS-CBN Sports, Mix. Yeah, that is at ABS CBN Sports on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Guys, tuloy po ang laro. We are here to give you uh, the best sports stories, the best way to tell them. And uh, ibibigay po natin yan sa sports fans and sa audience to provide inspiration, information, inspiration para po sa ating mga sports fans worldwide. And uh, wow, parang, I don't know, Cheska, para mabilis ba ang oras o ang dami lang nangyari? <laughs> na <laughs> sa para ang dami nangyari. <laughs> para <laughs> we were nangyari. talking about we were talking about it on Tuesday. It's like wow, kotang-kota tayo sa Philippine sports. Kum- the last two years combined and much to celebrate. Bakit ba tayo nagse-celebrate, Chess? Kasi sino ba mga guests natin tonight? Well, makes you mentioned inspiration a while ago. And speaking of inspiration, just last Sunday, the Philippine women's national football team made history at the Rizal Memorial Stadium by winning the 2022 AFF Women's Championship after defeating Thailand 3-0. Joining us tonight are Filipinas goalkeeper Ina Palacios and center back Haley Long. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Thank you so much for joining Hi. us and congratulations. Champs are here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The Thank champs you. are here. Has it settled? Has it finally for sunk us. in? Are you are you still riding that high? Oh go on. answer. Yeah, I think so. Well, it hasn't set in, but we're still riding the high for sure. Um like we were saying before, it's, we still can't put too many words to it just yet. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah. I'm with her. Um, yeah. It's been, I think it's going to be almost a week now, pero like we still feel so much love from everyone and all that support. It's been coming in and our, our inboxes are full and, you know, we just want to get through all of it as well and fly as we could. But we definitely feel the love and we're just so grateful to be able to do that and bring it home here in the Philippines with everyone celebrating with us. Well, it is a pretty well, is much, pretty um, much, what do you call it, uh, self-explanatory when, uh, when the final buzzer sounded and then confetti came out, of course, very, uh, you know, in a celebratory mood. But I guess I want to ask uh, Ina, when was it at the part of the match where you felt that this is ours? Um, I would say before it even started. I think we all came in well confident. But no, we came in with um, that winning mentality already. Um, in our meetings, you know, our coach would always remind us that half the, ma- half the time, matches are won. With, without it starting yet. So we had to keep that in mind. And, um, you know, we needed that winning mentality to be able to take the whole thing, the whole tournament um, back here in the Philippines and for the Philippines. And then, Haley, I mean, this whole year has been absolutely insane for the Filipinas. Um, how would you how would you describe the kind of momentum that you you guys are experiencing at this point? Well, we've had a pretty jam-packed year so far, and it's only about 
a little over halfway through. Um, I think, according to FIFA, the Philippines has played like the most games this year so far. So that's a really big accomplishment. Um, and I think the proof is in that, that the time and effort, everyone, all the way up from the staff to supporters and ourselves um, have put into this. Um, it's definitely come to fruition because we started off in Asian games in India and we qualified for the World Cup. Um, and then we had C games and we got our first medal. And then now we won gold here at home, but like to like put specifics to it. Uh, so we beat Thailand and uh, India in Asian cup. And then we lost to them in C games. And then we beat them now in um, AFF. So we're just trying to still um, solidify consistency, like at least amongst ourselves. Um, throughout here in Asia, but we definitely had a lot of preparation thus far and it's been helping us out. I'll, I'll, I'll jump off right that phrase in terms of consistency, Haley. Where do you think you are now in terms of that, now that you've uh, won this big tournament? Well, I think the more you win, the harder it is to stay consistent because winning, like we've talked about before, is winning comes with expectations and we've always considered ourselves underdogs. So we always play our absolute hearts out and we can't, we can't go into a game having expectations regardless of where we stand on a worldly level or what have you. Um, I would say now it winning consistent, it feels good. Like having that consistency of winning feels really good. But it's also it's also a little tricky because yes, of course you want to keep winning, but it just I feel like it'll just get harder. And then of course, both of you have played, you know, so many games uh, with the Filipinas. Uh, Haley, you've recorded a career milestone already. You've tied Patrice Impelido and Mariel Benita Savellana as the most capped player in Filipinas history. And of course, Ina, you also received your, <laughs> your plaque. Both of you received plaques at your victory party. Uh, Ina also is at, I believe, 51 caps. Can you, can you yeah. describe that journey? Because you've seen, both of you have been through um, this, this whole journey with the Filipinas uh, in those 51, in those 61 caps. Uh, in the 51 caps that you've had, Ina, how would you describe the journey from when you first set foot on the pitch as a Filipina, reaching this point in your career? Yeah, wow. It was, the 51 took a long time for me. Um, actually, I would say Haley came in the right time because before, like, the Philippine Women's National Team would only get one tournament a year, and that's why it was going so slow. But when, when she entered, we started getting more than one tournament a year. But um, the journey for me has been, I would say, amazing, unique, just because I saw the team from really at its lowest and trying to build up to where we are right now. And I've seen many people come and go as well. And, you know, they're all part of this whole journey, this whole um, victory, I would say, and it's nice receiving messages from my former teammates, and I always respond to them by saying, you know, you're also a part of this one, this is for you, you've worked hard for this, please celebrate with us, because it's, for me, I learned so much from them, learning from the people, because I came in very young, and so I was learning from people who were much older than me, I, and I think that's also my goal for myself, is to also share my learnings to the rest of my teammates, especially the young ones, because I think that experience that I have with the team and the the, the years I've spent with with them or with the team, it's it's something that I always back to it. Why I it's because of 
what they instilled in me when I was young and how important it is to play with your heart, play with a lot of pride and honor for, for the Philippines. But yeah, I would say really it's been a long journey. And I think my perspective and seeing where we are right now, I just you can't help but feel very, very proud and thankful and grateful for the journey because not a lot can get um, that, that much time with the team. And for me to be able to be one of them, it's, it's really a privilege and an honor. Okay. Uh, now, uh, Ina... Uh, sorry, uh, Ina, uh, Ina I, I, I will stick with you. Um, you mentioned earlier, before we started the live stream, uh, just the whole thought of winning this, it's a dream. Why is that so? For you, personally. Um, I say that because, you know, because I've seen the team at its lowest and, you know, the, all the struggles it's um, we've been through and trying to just overcome all those adversities year in and year out and to finally see results. It's like me saying na parang this is why I do it. Like this is for this moment. This is why I stuck with this team for so long. It's for for this moment. And for that moment to happen here in the Philippines, I think I don't know, just the best feeling I would say. Right. We actually, um, since we posted your photos announcing that both of you would be guesting on the show, some supporters sent in their questions. This this part is called the not chat. Hard. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hades face no, no, is like, no. <laughs> don't worry, Hades. Wait, 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 it's cool, it's cool, my family, my family, my family may or may not have put questions. Okay. Kind of as we joke, included, kind of We included but. their their handles, um, so you just be the judge if they were the if ones who sent them, these. or yeah, if that's them, no, yeah. Okay. Not. Okay. yeah. Okay, so yeah. this okay. this this is called the chat. For our first question, this is from Sam Peralta. Oh no, sorry that. <laughs> Sam Peralta says, what advice can you give to the young ones who were inspired by your championship run and want to try a new sport like football or soccer? Just, just go for it. I mean, you'll, you will learn. The more you try and the more you may put yourself in, first off, like vulnerable situations, something you're not good at, the more you'll grow. Whether it's football, basketball, volleyball, doesn't even have to be a sport. I would say the more you put yourself out there and try new things, the more you'll grow, no matter what age you are. Okay. So that's also the uh, question of Serena, Serena's curls. So any any yes. tips or advice for women <laughs> like me who wants to try football? Uh, Ina, baka you have a different perspective or you want to add to that? No, I, I agree. I think, you know, for me, I'll just tell them to just do it. I think um, I think I also put this in my post just today, right? But not really ride the wave. I would say that. But, you know, let's keep football alive. You know, do do the little things. If it makes you happy, you know, if you want to try new things, if it's football or anything else, just do it. Because like what Haley said, if you're in an uncomfortable position, that's where growth happens the most. So, yeah. But if it's football, then we just have another player and a new one coming in the sport. So that's good for us. Yeah, growing the game. Right. Okay. Sige. What's what's our next question? All right. This one, uh, I have. I don't know who asked this. I'm so sorry. What factors aided you in achieving your current goals as a player? Oh, that's from Ken Mia Jazzy Twenty One. Okay, uh, Haley. Um, yeah. Or Ina, go ahead. That's hard. A lot. I would say just a lot, a lot of different factors. I mean, at least playing football growing up and playing at a bunch of different levels, you learn like it really develops who you are as a person, and then you you learn to prioritize time management and like 
in a tournament like in school, we learn to do all these things like almost very quickly. Um, but my current goals as a player, uh, I would say like, just to be specific for one, uh, like discipline. Yeah, um, I can't say that. Sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Um, <laughs> it, you get to a certain point in, in your career where you have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined on your sleep schedule, your diet, not, I mean, not super strict, but just like smart about it. And if you don't have discipline, then you, you just, you just need that structure and discipline yeah. just like kind of keeps you in line and mm-hmm. it keeps you in check. And you really have to be like in, in tune with your body about what you need, what you want, and what is a priority for you. Sorry. Just to follow up, who who instilled that discipline in you? Was it was it at home? Was it your your early coaches? How did you develop that kind of discipline? Because training regularly is not a joke. Waking up early is not a joke. Actually, putting in the extra work is not a joke. So that's where the oh. discipline comes in. I just we just want to know where that came from. I would say myself, just because. Well, <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, because it's easy thing to be saying. Sorry, nagulat ako sa sagot niya. Yeah, I was gonna say someone else, but yeah. Say yeah, I would say it would start from home. <laughs> no, I would say my just like yeah, I was gonna say like watching my sisters because I'm I'm the young I'm the bunso, so I'm the youngest, so I see. Like, if they get in trouble, I shouldn't do this. Or if they get a bad grade, I shouldn't do that. Like, it just internally just watching. I was, I was pretty quiet growing up, I guess. If you believe that now, I was quiet. But I would just watch and see things like you should or shouldn't do. Um, but it's hard to be specific. Like, we've been on so many different teams and played with so many different people. Yeah, and different coaches. Okay, well, know. now they know that it comes from yourself. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sige, Ina, you, 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 Ina had a totally your different answer ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just didn't expect that one. But yeah, I would say same, same for for achieving your goals as a player it would be a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work. And for me, where that started was, um, yeah, for me at home, because my parents, we had a deal when I was young, when I started really enjoying football was that you have to keep a certain grade. And because you want something, you put structure in that. You suddenly develop priorities. And then football became my priority. But on top of that, I had to do well in other aspects of my life. So for me, it's at home. But for Haley, it's herself. Well, okay, at my school, we had to have good grades to play. Yeah, I mean... Like you were ineligible if you didn't have good grades. Yeah, I think in every school... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, we're, okay. Gonna, we're gonna go on to the next question. Right, now. Next question. <laughs> okay. So... Sisterly love. Sisterly love. Okay. Right. Okay. So, tanong ni Lara, ang question ni Lara. Um, Haley, what is the one thing that, what is the one thing that you think you've sacrificed the most while playing for the Philippines? Wow. That's deep. That is deep. Sleep. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I would say time with my family. That and that sounds like a terrible thing to sacrifice, but I mean, you're away at camps, and you, especially now with COVID, like you're in a bubble, so you really can't like they can't like visit you or whatever. Um, like before, you can't go home on a weekend and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I would just say like time with family. Okay, Ina. Okay. Yeah, I would say the same because of you know you know your family supported you for for everything that we do and football kind of not just not the man it makes it sound bad. It doesn't take it away, but you can't be in two places at once. So a lot of time, like, 
really went to football because we were following what we really wanted to do and for them to take that back and of course on for us that also means a lot but yeah a lot of family time especially the past year already since we've always been out for camps and the camps are overseas and we haven't really spent a lot of we haven't spent i would say more than two months here in the philippines just because of training it's like an ofw kind of kind of feels yeah Yeah. Okay. Jessica, can I ask one more question from the comment section? Yeah. Uh, marami kasi nag... Hindi, hindi, hindi. Kasi before we go on to the fast break round, because we're going on to our next minute, pero mag, 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 mag ano lang ako, mag, uh, susundot lang ako, mag-follow up lang ako. Kasi maraming mga ano, maraming mga nag-comment uh, sa ating uh, post on Instagram. Thank you for uh, uh, liking and sharing our post on Instagram. Um, sick is Patrick. He is asking any teams you're looking forward to face in a friendly or in the World Cup. You said, "Where? What are we excited for?" Sorry. Or what team? Um, we're looking yeah, forward to team, any teams you're looking forward to facing in a friendly or in the World Cup. Um, I would say. We're looking forward to have friendlies. Hopefully, it happens with teams that are, you know, rank really above us to really challenge us in that sense. So we can also grow as a team and, you know, also our knowledge and playing playing the sport. But I think the plan is when the draw comes out, um, we'll try having friendlies with similar teams that are in our group. So like every, different countries they have different styles so it's important that we um, have experience playing them um, playing higher ranked teams yeah. helps our ranking as well if we can um, get a win or a draw out of it it helps our ranking which affects like what pot we go into for the World Cup so I think that's why we're playing so many games this year is just to help with our ranking for um, the draw in October. All right. Okay. Okay. And now it's time for... <laughs> All right. This is our fast break round again. Uh, we're going to throw out questions. First thing that pops into your mind, please feel free to answer as quickly as you can. All right. Haley, favorite practice drill or exercise? <laughs> Small side of games. Oh, I like that. Ina, favorite practice drill or exercise? Uh, yeah, small sided games. Okay. okay. Least favorite practice oh. drill. Running. Running. <laughs> anything Running. without the ball. <laughs> yeah, anything, anything without, without the ball. ball. Okay. okay. <laughs> Marami right. bayan. Are they many? Are they many oh. drills? Yeah. Madaming variations. Okay. <laughs> so many drills. So many variations. Many least favorite. Okay. Okay. All right. Haley, if you weren't a footballer, what would you be? A basketball player. A basketball player. <laughs> Ina, if you weren't yeah. a footballer, what would you be? A doctor. Oh, wow. Oh. Ah, uh, Ina, you were telling us, Kanina, your your dad's a big, uh, big Ginebra fan, right? Yeah, I think that didn't pure foods, but wala na. But yeah, um, yeah, he watches a lot of basketball. His sport is basketball. Oh. So I don't want to play basketball. It's okay. <laughs> he tried, <laughs> but no <Okay>. luck. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Next, natin is uh, most important item in your gym or game bag. Ina? Oh, my cleats and my gloves, for sure. Besides oh, that. besides that, most important, water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say hydrate. Tama naman. Tama naman. Si si Haley Hydrate. Haley Hydrate. You see, you mentioned Hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> the the sensible so necessities there. naman talaga. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Ooh, Ina. Hardest shot to save during team practice? Ah, 
Anika Castaneda shot. <laughs> My God. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. For Haley, most unpredictable teammate on offense. During team practice also. Scrimmages. Uh, Quinley. She's, she moves in silence. She does. She does. She's, <laughs> she's, everywhere, she's a ninja. Everywhere you don't think she's going to be. <laughs> and she can turn any... I like playing Quinley the ball because no matter where I give it to her, she will keep it, get out of it, yeah. work her magic. So, yeah. Quinley. All right. Ina, go-to cheat meal. Oh, um... Uh, pizza? Is that a cheat meal? Yeah. Pizza. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a yeah. cheat meal. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> that it is. is a really good cheat yeah, meal. Yeah, that, that's a good cheat well, meal. Well, what if you put a lot of vegetables on it? Then it's not kidding. No, it's delicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lee, go to cheat meal. Is, is sushi a cheat meal? I mean, with all the rice, well, yeah. <laughs> Some of our guests, uh, never, actually, many of them mentioned Japanese sushi. food. Yeah, I would never eat. Su- I never, I never eat sushi like kind of in a sensible quantity. It's always too much. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so that's the meal. The sushi is the meal. The whole yeah, meal. There you go. Right. Okay. 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 I was right. supposed to say because I was telling them earlier, we had uh, our previous guests answer this question. Most of them answered Japanese. So it may be anything yeah, Japanese food, yeah. but at least for Haley, it's just specific. sushi. Sushi. Yeah. Specific sushi meal. Okay. Right, Best yeah. type song, Haley. Oh. 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 I don't know. I listen to a lot of this song. Uh, I'll say "Let's Go" by Trip Dog. Ina Hall of Fame by the script Ah Okay Okay Ina Game day ritual Game day ritual Um, For the past few Months it's been playing cards With uh, (laughs) Tong (laughs) It and Poseidos Pretty much (laughs) Before At snacks (laughs) Mm. Yeah. get the mind get the mind going right you gotta do yeah yeah or Strategy. you don't you just don't want to think about it just yet but you oh, calm down okay, uh, okay. all right Haley, for you coffee coffee stretch bike shower cards yeah that's it Wow, right. it's very. Wow. I love. I love how she broke yeah. that down, like yeah. in yeah. order. I was. <laughs> Kasama rin pala si Haley sa cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. Haley's part of the cards. Haley's part of the cards also. Okay, so it's cards at Always, least for yeah. for the Philippines. Yeah, cards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cards, cards. Okay, if you were given a chance to play any position outside of a keeper or a center back, what would it be? I guess, uh, any. <laughs> Haley, Haley, you, you want to take this first? I'll be a goalkeeper. Okay. Oh. I feel like mm. I'd be good at it. Um, the striker, the other end, like the score goals. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The opposite. Total, side. To- right. total opposite. Okay. <laughs> all right. Ina, favorite footballer of all time? Iker Casillas, 100%. Oh. oh. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, <laughs> next. <question. laughs> right. Haley, favorite footballer of all time. Of all time. Tagal naman mag- Sorry, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm an indecisive person. Ronaldinho. Ah, oh, Ronaldinho. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Love it. All right. So, Ina, all right. biggest hurdle you've overcome. Uh, I'd say injuries. Injuries for sure. Okay. Yeah, same. 
Okay. okay injuries. Right. Okay. I know. I know that uh, this was kind of sort of brought up earlier, but um, let's just switch it to a specific player. So, dream opponent for a friendly before the World Cup. A specific player that you want to play against. Uh, Midamar yes. from Netherlands. Mm. Oh. Mm. She's good. She's safe. <laughs> Haley? Dream of Who do you want to fight with a, a head? <laughs> a header with. Yeah. Well, I can't ever play her, but I would want to play against Abu Wamba. Oh, well. Oh, wow. I can't play her. Yeah, I would want to. I mean, try and defend. Just try. <laughs> you never know. It's a it's a dream. You never know. Yeah, it might happen. Wow, she's come out of retirement. <laughs> Friendly lang naman eh, malay mo. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> Why not? Okay. All right. Uh, I guess. Well, we have to ask this, but it yes. would be nice to be. Coming from you, most memorable career career highlight. Let's say career highlight. Like right now, it's winning the AFF yeah. for sure. Like yeah. I, I think yeah. it's it's really the top, and it's the highest we've been. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, and it's because it's so fresh. Yeah. 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 We've had wins, like we, we qualified for the World Cup and we got our um we got bronze in some games. But oh actually oh. I have two. I think I have two. Okay. I think What's the other, the other one, one was you know back in 2017 when we first qualified in the Asian Cup finals. That one was hard for the team, like um logistically. Yeah. yeah. But we still pulled through. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Haley, for and, you, um, you, you were comparing uh, qualifying and then Sea Games and then this month. So ultimately, for you, what would yeah. it be? I I would I agree with you now that uh, it's definitely AFF just because it's so fresh and we've had wins before and but we've never had it at home and we've never had like mm -hmm. like we were just in Vietnam for Sea Games and there was a lot more people at our game like 16 plus thousand but you you don't hear it like you don't listen to what they say it doesn't matter to you kind of thing but this time around everything you could feel when the game got quiet you could feel the crowd when they were loud and excited or if they wanted something to happen they would cheer it's it just it just felt like a different it was a different feeling Okay. Uh, if I if I may ask a follow up, uh, of course you, uh, the Filipinas winning all these um, unique and the uh, big achievements uh, at least in the past few months, you know, qualifying for the World Cup, bronze medals, the Sea Games, and then this one winning it at home. Uh, are there any differences, Ina, in terms of like the feeling, you you moment nayon, or maybe the first few days after that moment when it's all sinking in, do, do they have a difference or maybe? There yeah. Well, for me, I think, parang personally, it feels better and better each time. Parang, I don't know. It just feels how I would say this. Like, yeah, it gets better each time. Every right. achievement that we get, it feels better than the last one. Yeah, it just solidifies yeah. like we are up and coming and um, that it's our hard work has been paying off because our training everything gets harder like i said before like everything gets harder like the consistency gets harder um so i think the more positivity and the more positive outcomes we have um it, def it just feels like more solid okay Thank okay. you. Thank you for that. And for our final, 
fast break question. Haley, ultimate career goal. Um, I would say the one I had an AFF against C Games. Uh, or what against C Games? Did I say no? The one I had in AFF against Vietnam. Um, mm. I actually, I don't, I can't, I don't. Wait, know. I feel like what does this mean? Ultimate career <laughs> career goal, <laughs> like as. Wait, does this mean like goal oh, of sport? I mean, I, like, I, just, I just that's realized. That's actually a trick question. That's yeah. actually a trick question. I just yeah, realized I like, we are talking to football players other... right now. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's going in different yeah. directions. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, Jessica, you could, you could. You should have played before, so. Uh, ultimate, ultimate career dream. Like, you're, uh, what, what else yeah. you want to achieve? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. No, that was no. I, I actually wanted to hear her ultimate career goal, as in kick goal. <laughs> well, so at least the Vietnam, the Vietnam yes. na, yeah. na match. Okay, but okay. your but dream in terms for of your what career, else you want yeah. to achieve, your ultimate dream. There you go. There you go. Oh, you answer. Now I have to rethink. <laughs> they said Haley. Cool. Okay. Well, Ina, you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would love to see the Philippines win the World Cup. Yeah, and the Sea Games. Uh, yeah, and the Sea Games, and I would also like to witness the first ever professional league here in the Philippines. Oh, and to be able to help all of that, I think that's that's my goal. Okay. Oh, no. That's a nice. That's a that's, nice excerpt uh, because it's not really personal, but more of the bigger picture. Yeah. Galing. All right. I think Haley. I yeah. I think easily at least for us, our goals are definitely bigger picture. Uh, that we're we're going to the World Cup for the first time, so. Who knows what will happen, and we we just wanna we just wanna compete and do our best, and but it's 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 just another like foundation block for um, women's football here in the Philippines. So as long as we keep on the upward like trajectory, I think we could definitely do all the things that Ina said, and it would be even cooler to witness it and to say like we tell all the people before us that they had a part in it that they had a part in our current success that one day when there's even more success that we get told that we are part of it but right. I don't know I think 100 caps Sana oh, oh wow way oh, wow wow napa, napa isip si Ina doon sabi ko bigger picture pero oh, personal goal <laughs> <laughs> I want that route. You can go many yeah. ways. <laughs> yeah. you, you can. You really can. Yeah, All right. yeah you can. And uh, yeah. of course, uh, hello po sa lahat ng kapabilya na nonood sa amin sa YouTube right now. Of course, hello to Roy, Atari, Princess Diaz, Kriza, uh, hi and, uh, Roy says, congratulations, job well done. Atari says, congratulations. Princess says, congratulations again, Ate Ina and Ate Haley. Uh, Kriza, congrats, Filipinas. Um, thank you to everyone who joined us on this Friday evening. Salamat. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lastly, before we let you go, your message to your fans, uh, Ina and Haley. Go ahead, Ina. Oh, well, first, really, I want to say maraming maraming salamat. Um, this journey has been the best we've received in terms of love and support from all of you guys and we wouldn't be able to take it all home without your support. So I just really want to say thank you to the whole um, football community, not just the football community, actually, for everyone who supported that. Because I know even if you're not into football, uh, a lot still watch. And that really meant a lot to us. Um, I also want to say thank you to the whole coaching staff, to PFF, our manager, and to our teammates and friends and family for always supporting us in whatever we do. I know it's not easy and um, just know we really appreciate it and we love you guys. So thank you so much. Yeah, just to follow, Haley? Follow up, what, follow up what Ina said. Uh, 
just thank you to everyone that came out and supported us or if you were team Baha'i, that's that's uh, just as good too. Um, but yeah, just we couldn't have done it without everyone there to have, to feel like the warmth and support of the crowd as something we've never felt before as a team and to be successful here at home is um, a big turn of events for Philippine football. So hopefully we can keep winning and we can keep um, bringing pride to our country. And it was even more special to do it here at home for the first time with um, our people. And like Ina said, the coaching staff, uh, the PFF, our management, uh, Mr. Chang, we couldn't have done it and we still can't continue to do it without them. Um, so just thankful for their support um, and the opportunities that they keep giving us. And of course, family, friends, and everyone involved. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for joining us here on uh, Off the Record. I was Team Bahai. I actually watched the first <laughs> match all the way up to the final and uh, nice really and proud safe. of the Filipinas. Uh, pahabol lang tayo ng mga shout out uh, from Dark King, John Patrick Lumbria, sabi niya, Abante, Babae, Aiza Luna, congrats po, ILY, Jeff Napster, what's up, Aiza Luna, hello po sa inyo. Yao, heroes of hello. a dreaming nation, thank you. And thank you to the Filipinas. Thank you, thank you so much. I, thank you, thank you. I yeah. heard a big dog in the background and that made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. My faster. Is that your dog, Ina? Yeah. I have a, a Doberman. Oh. Ooh. Outside. Cool. Waiting to play. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Don't worry, you can play now. With what his his name? Zeus. Zeus. Zeus the Doberman. Oh, Zeus and Apollo nice. can go on a play date. Yeah, That's my dog a... is a follow. He oh, made yeah. a cameo last Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Ina. Thank you so much, Haley. Once again, congratulations. And we know thank that you, you, you guys you. are still a little busy and still a little hyped. So thank you for we really appreciate uh you taking the time to join us tonight. We can't thank wait you. to thank have you back on the show. Malupet. Thank you. Let's yeah. go. Yes, Filipinas Malupet. Thank you, thank you. Happy weekend. All right. So uh, thank you for everybody who joined right here dito pa sa Off the Record. Meron mga, although thank you na naabutan ninyo yung stream at nag-comment po kayo uh, to the ones watching. Uh, I hope uh, natuwa kayo, nakilala nyo ng konting ating Filipinas. And uh, I hope this, not just this achievement, but this is just like the uh, jump start or the trigger for Philippine football to really go big and to go mainstream. And for more Filipinos uh, to be able to accept the sport, love it, just like as we do basketball, boxing, and volleyball, and etc. So, sana tole tole na to, Jessica. Sana. <laughs> oh, that, that's um, the dream. That's the dream. That is the dream. And we have the, the Filipinas to thank for putting Philippine football on the map once again. Um, and I can't wait to see the rest of their journey and salamat once uh, once again sa lahat ng taong nakisama sa amin ngayong gabi all right thank you thank you for your guest requests please do follow uh and message follow na, na rin guys otr mix chesca on facebook and instagram uh yan po yung handle natin sa instagram off the record with mix and chesca sa facebook and please do follow at abs event sports on facebook youtube instagram and twitter besides off the record we also have segments on the Facebook and YouTube, marami po yan. And Instagram, we're activating it right now. And Twitter also. So for your sports needs, stories, events, results, please do follow at ebs and Sports on their different social media handles. And please do catch off the record on Tuesdays and Fridays, 9 p.m. Dito lang po sa ebs and Sports YouTube channel. So once again, happy weekend, Kapabilia. This has been Off the Record with Mix. And Cheska, we will see you guys in the next episode. Happy weekend! Happy weekend!